Ireland may be a land of ancient traditions, but one has a very modern application. Forget dot-com dating. Every year at this time, since nobody can remember when, the never married, the widowed, and the once but no longer married gather in Liston Varna, the town in the wild west of Ireland famous for matchmaking. How long have you been coming to this dance? Roughly 69 years. 69 years? Yes, yes. Have you found a wife here? Can't find her, unable. But lots are able. Albert and Cicely Lawler met here 43 years ago. We got married in 1968, in September 1968, and we've, we haven't missed a year here since. Dancing, they say, beats the internet every time. If you go to a lady and ask her to dance, you're holding her, and you're holding her close, and it gives you that... Sort of, sort of like a test drive. Yes, like a test drive, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And if you can't find a match yourself, horse trader and third generation matchmaker Willie Daly will help you. He's got a book going back a hundred years showing, he says, thousands of successful matchups. Oh, it's a very lucky book, this now. I mean, anyone that touches this book supposedly is supposed to be married inside of six months. See, I'm, very, I'm a very boring girl. This is why I have trouble meeting men. Lately, for his fee of just over $10 a pop, he's got a nice line going of American women looking for Irish men. You know, back in the States, we do it on the internet, so why not have the personal touch of a human being here? In fact, Jean's friend Kim may have already found that personal touch. I think I may have met someone, I don't know. <laughs> oh! Wedding bells don't always ring, but even in a recession here, the cash registers still chime. The matchmaking merchants of Liston Varna have an expression to get them through these lean times. Recessions may come and go, they say, but there's always a market for love. And always people willing to invest. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Liston Varna, Ireland.